Five Reasons Why Console PUBG Is the Most Stressful Game Ever Created by Mankind Well, let's start with driving. On the PC version, you can damn near go full speed and hit a brick wall, and you'll be fine. On console, if you hit a pebble, your car spins out of control or explodes instantly. Either that or your car will lag right through the map or through a bridge, especially on Miramar. I mean, the difference is incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a game have such a noticeable difference between its PC version and the console version. Even two full years later, it's still like this. This brings me to my next point. The lag and rendering on this game is still the worst I have ever seen in a video game. What you are watching is a clip of mine from April 27th, 2019. April of 2019. The game is not in game preview anymore. This is supposed to be the full game release. And you're telling me I can't pick up a gun or ammo unless I try 25 times? And even then, you would think I'm playing against somebody from Mother Russia. No, no. Brazil. Hell, we, we can't even get the Russians anymore. Look how bad this guy is lagging on my screen. He should have been dead before he even picked up the gun. So I'll tell you what I did. I bought an SSD since this happened. But I will tell you this, that SSD does not do a damn thing when other players are lagging this bad. Sure, it's not what it's meant to do. It's just meant to load in faster or render things better. Sure, it's a big improvement at the beginning of a match, but it still doesn't fully render objects or buildings over a large distance. So if I'm scoping people out with a 6 or 8x scope, 50% of the time it doesn't render those buildings in over that long distance. And that's not the SSD's fault, that's the game itself. Between that and the people lagging so bad, I still feel like the SSD still doesn't make the game fully playable, if that makes sense. Another reason why this is the most stressful game of all time is teammates. I previously said that it was sometimes fun to play squads with a few people that know how to play the game. Well, no matter what, there's always going to be that one person that's going to be selfish and take everything that somebody else calls out. For example, the compensator is the most vital attachment for the AK. Somebody will say, hey, I got a compensator for you. And another guy in the squad says, drop everything, drop whatever you don't need. I mean, that is bullshit. I give up more attachments and meds for the good of the team. And yet when I need something, some asshole snags it from me. I don't know, maybe I just play with selfish players, but it's still like that even with random players you pick up. Between that and teammates picking terrible landing spots and making people go backwards on the flight path because they can't make up their mind on where they want to land. Also, making up some bullshit that their game crashed, which I understand happens occasionally, but it shows if you disconnect it or not. You don't sit there and not move saying your game crashed because you feel like ditching your team. That goes right along with going AFK mid-game to handle some personal bullshit. You don't fucking sit back AFK during the middle of a battle royale game. Handle your stuff before the game or after it's over. Also, I've mentioned this before. The aiming and looting with a controller is just a joke on this game. I'm not even going to say any more than that because we all know it is whether people want to admit it or not. But as far as gunplay, the AK from the looks of it on PC is one of the best guns on the game if you know how to use it. On console, it seemed better before all the updates came out. Now it's like, how can I land four or five shots on somebody with an AK to the upper body and not get a kill. And the guy was in the blue zone for a full three seconds on phase six. I've watched this particular clip over 100 times and I still can't wrap my mind around that. And this sort of play happens all the time. And lastly, I mentioned this before on other games as well, and guess what? I will continue to talk about it because it's by far the biggest issue in console gaming in my opinion. Mouse and keyboard players on console, look at the leaderboard here. A lot of the numbers you are seeing on the right side of your screen 
are not possible with a controller. Sure, maybe a 7.0 or 8.0 is doable on this game, but that's on PC. And there's literally only a handful of players that can do that. And they stream this game for a living. There is no way you can tell me that somebody is going to reach a 15.0 KD or 20 or even 10.0 on console with a controller. A controller is much harder to use accurately than a mouse and keyboard. Despite that, there's maybe a dozen players on PC that can reach a 7.0 to an 8.0 KD legitimately. And once again, most of those players game for a living. Look at number two on this list. I have it highlighted. The guy is even saying he is using a mouse and keyboard on console in his gamer tag. Look at the last three letters. Now I will say this. Some people will say that not even a 4.0 KD is possible, which is untrue. That is more in reach and realistic. I had a 4.5 KD on this game at one point for solos. I was a top 20 solo player on here on the leaderboards. That's not me bragging at all. That's not what I'm getting at here. I mean, Christ, it's PUBG on console. Who cares? Seriously. I think leaderboards are pointless and KDR is just stupid like it is on every game because that's all people want to look at. But it's useful in terms of using it as a gauge. And what I'm seeing from most of the people at the top of these leaderboards is just complete BS and not possible with a controller. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. I have one more PUBG video to upload after this, and that's it for a while for this game for me. I have no desire to waste my time playing such a sorry excuse for a game. I have better things to do than to keep playing this. I'm just keeping it real. I can think of 50 games that actually work properly that are better than this. So, have a great day and I will see you next time. Peace.